Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So right here I'm out with Beach Deep and it looks a little different because uh, I did a fender swap with the two door. So you might be asking why am I putting good parts on the bad XJ? Well, it's not exactly bad. I hate to deceive you, but uh, I think the last video my wife made a live stream. I was parting this thing out, well, taking parts off of it. Not to junk it, not to scrap it, but to chop it. So. The mission for today is we got to put a couple more things on Beach Jeep. We got a bumper and a radiator support bracket. We're going to put that on. We're going to take out the rear glass and we're going to take off the hatch. So we're preserving the front end of Beach Jeep, but we're scrapping the back half of Beach Jeep. So that's what we're doing today because. The mission is get this thing out of the driveway and into the fabricator. All right, first thing we gotta do, we gotta vacuum out this crap. There's a bunch of junk up in here, rust flakes, dirt, grime, the usual. And I also need to get the uh, this cowl cleaned out where the wiper motor is. That is just filthy in there. So, gotta take off the wiper motor with these uh, torque screws, um, maybe T30, I don't know. Take this out, vacuum out this crap, and then we're gonna power wash this whole thing because I don't wanna bring any dirt into a, a nice clean shop. So we're gonna get all this crap cleaned out, power wash this thing, and then we'll start reassembling and disassembling. It is a T30, I know my T's. There we go, forward roll. Or was it a backwards roll? Yeah, it goes in like this. Just gotta roll it back. This is a ridiculous cut. All right, there we go. A nice, reasonably clean cowl area. We'll be able to put the wiper assembly back on there. Fairly easy now that we can see what's going on in there. Um, there's one more clip I should take out. Take out that clip. But yeah, this is a great idea to clean out. If you ever want to run one of those cowl intake systems, moves the, uh, the intake from the air box up front that's hot, you get uh, some nice high pressure cool system that gets sucked in through the cowl for the wiper. Uh, yours may not look like this. <laughs> I cut a big hole here uh, a while ago. I actually made my own cowl intake system. Let's see if I can show you this now. Yeah, right there. That's where I ran my intake. So, yeah, it's a good idea to clean this out because you don't want to be sucking filthy air or air that's filtered through filth into your uh, engine. Also, it's a good idea to keep this clean because this is where you get your your cabin air. You know, if your Jeep ever smells musty or rotten, it's probably because you have rotten leaves and junk caked in here. So uh, yeah, definitely clean this whole cow out. Great idea, keep it clean. Beautiful, looking nice and clean. All right, next up, I'm going to put on my radiator support bracket because this has the hood latch. So I grabbed myself uh, four fender bolts. These are the 
the Torx, and uh, I'm really not a fan of these, especially in this spot, because uh, when these get rusted in, and uh, believe me, they do, the Torx ends up stripping. So I, I like to make sure I have a hex bolt in all four of these locations. Um, this is just temporary, obviously, because we have some secret plans going down. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to glob the threads with anti seize because, well, I just power wash this whole thing and uh, <laughs> you do not want to lube your bolts with water because you're asking for problems. Problems of the rusty kind. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going crazy with the anti seize. I don't care. We'll worry about cleaning it off when it comes time for uh, for paint or what have you. Um, let's see. This is a radiator support bracket that I got from my my secret treasure trove of parts. I uh, I actually took the one from Beach Jeep, the original one, and I had that painted nice and black. If you uh, recall, a couple years ago. <laughs> I, I prepped my radiator to go back in Beach Jeep before I knew I was doing this crazy project. We have a cleaned and painted radiator, condenser, radiator support bracket, and header panel bracket. We also have clean and painted hardware. So this thing is good to go. So here we go. Ah, got them in place. Let me zip them down. Be able to rest our hood closed and it will hit the safety latch so when I'm towing it <laughs> it's not gonna fly up behind me safety first always right safety first and teamwork cool all right so taking a look in the realm of the bumper here is the bumper torx bolts and here are new clip nuts these are uh, size 10 and they are uh, 1.5 thread pitch. So if you need fender clips or whatever you call them, bumper clips, uh, clip nuts for your Cherokee bumpers, I got these on Amazon. Check it out, all four new ones. Uh, when I took the bumper off to make sure everything was straight and, and whatnot, <laughs> uh, I had some concerns because here's some uh, little result of some damage that I had to straighten out. You know, I just hit it up with primer because it was exposed. But I got this going on right here. And um, I took off the bumper. And as usual, one of them broke. So I figured, heck, you know, I got a two-door Cherokee in the back. I had a front-end accident. The bumper smashed up. Don't need that bumper. I actually put a picture on Instagram of that bumper before I put it out to uh, the scrapper. I went to take the uh, bumper clips off of that one and every single one of them snapped So I got myself a couple bags of these uh, 10 by one and a half and um, Yeah, it's like it's Like a dollar each it's like ten bucks for ten But here is the package. I got them on Amazon. So I'll throw a link in the description below. So all right Let's get the bumper on one straight XJ bumper you're definitely gonna want to hand thread these on a little bit before you send them home with an impact gun or whatever you do not want to uh, strip these delicate fragile bumper clip nuts and you know what guys if you're ever gonna do bumper work on your XJ I highly recommend you get yourself a pack of these clip nuts because chances are some are gonna break and then you're gonna be left high and dry without clip nuts so again I'll put the link in the description so you guys can get yourself a pack of these literally priceless uh, clip nuts so you don't want to be left without a bumper I mean you have your stock bumper anyway whatever <laughs> all right all right there we have it now I'm gonna take off some more parts
we take it all the way down to the ground and leave the gash things on it? Yeah. Let's see if it'll come down. Watch the camera. Perfect. Nice. What happened to the new ones? They are in my drawer where the nice tools go. Oh, okay. This is one that could be lost. Actually, this is one from a set that I'm missing one anyway. Nice. piece of glass and I'm just tapping into my little power supply I'm gonna find this window bolt right here so we can take out the glass get rid of the regulator and these rear doors will be good for the chopping <laughs> I'll tell you more about that one later dang it wrong size <laughs> I suck this one's for the top bracket for this uh, seat belt sensor or what have you and uh, I'm gonna leave the shifter linkage on e-brake lever obviously we we'll leave that shifter on right there for now that's it peach Jeep is empty no windows no hatch no nothing all right let's load her up and get this thing out All right, guys, here we go. Beach Jeep is loaded up on the tow dolly, which is loaded up on Black Beauty. So here we go. This is what she looks like. This is her one last appearance. <laughs> As a complete Jeep. So let's, let's see what other things we got here. Can you guys guess what we're doing? I don't know. Let's see. We got some extra doors for custom door work. Let's see what's in here. Let's go around. <laughs> Check out this door, guys. You ain't cool unless your XJ has bullet holes in it. 
nothing like a nine millimeter to say, how you doing? So <laughs> we got those doors. Let's see. We got, where's the opening? This is door skins or the bottom door plating. Might be able to use those. So that's cool. And then this box, well this is a ZJ rear seat bracket. So that's something cool. And in here we have XJ rockers. So that's it. We are leaving. Say goodbye. This ain't coming back in this condition. So look at this side once again. Come around. Nice clean bumper, nice clean front. Oh, I zip tied this closed for safety. So, <laughs> can't see that. And here we go. Inside. Pretty clean. Again, once again, <laughs> away we go. All right, guys, we are rocking and rolling. Beach Jeep is on the move, finally. First time in two years, over two years, she's left the property. But she's got interesting plans in the future. So we're going to send her to the custom fabricator gonna do some chopping we like what we see with the front end we're not gonna need the back end so let's see what we can come up with so here we go let's drive all right we're here made it safely <laughs> custom fab shop XJ XJ me <laughs> uh, it's been a long day but I am still very thrilled to be getting this thing out getting it out getting it ready for the chopping so there's some cool stuff going on there and I think that's a Nova in there so good things good things at this shop um, alright let's get her down Here it is, Beach Jeep is in the fabrication shop, ready for the chopping. Things are starting to come together. I'm excited. So, we're going home. We're gonna close out this video. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Peace.